What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Zion Williamson for the New Orleans Pelicans. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So starting on the left side, we're going to draw in a circle. Starting from the very top, work our way down towards the bottom of the eye, and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the top of the circle, and we'll come down to the same height, and then back up to the top. Now we're going to add a smaller highlight circle to the top left of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, come in, then back out. We'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's fill the outside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move to the center and draw the nose. We start by lining up at the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right. Now we're going to step up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw on the mouth. Starting back on the left, curve down the middle and up on the right. Now we're going to draw on the upper lip. Starting back on the left side, we're going to curve up and then down. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the lower lip. Coming down in the middle and back up on the right. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the eyebrows. Starting on the left, we're going to curve over the eye, down and in, and line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to thicken up the eyebrows. Let's start on the left side. We're going to add a point at the top of the eyebrow, curving up and in come across and then pull that down towards the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come up and out, come out and then down, and then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. And now I'm gonna move out and draw the lower half of the head. Starting from the left eye, I'm gonna step out and draw a large half circle. Coming down, underneath the mouth in the center, out towards the right and we'll pull that up. Let's move back down underneath the mouth and add the goatee. Starting on the left side, curve down in the middle and back up. And then from the ends we're going to curve down and in towards the chin and we'll fill the goatee in black. Now I'm going to go back up and round up the side of the head. Let's start on the left side. We're going to go out Round up the head and then pull that in. And then from the top, we're going to draw a short angle line coming down and in. And then we'll go straight up toward the top of the hairline. Let's go back to the left. We're going to draw a curve going up in the middle and then back down on the right. I'm also going to add a line on the right side of the head. So from this point, we're going to step down, draw a short angle line coming down and in, and then go straight out. Now we're going to work our way around the top of the hair. Starting back on the left, we draw a curve going out and then in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's do that again. Back on the left, and go a little bit bigger, going out and then in. And then work our way up towards the top of the head. Starting back on the left, go up and then down on the inside. And we're gonna draw a series of curves going back towards the center. Let's start on the left, going up and then down. We'll add another one, maybe a little bit smaller. And then we'll close off the center, going up and then down. Now we're gonna add the ears on the side of the head. Starting from the top of the cheek, we're going to step up, start by curving up, rounding up the ear, coming down, and then in towards the side of the head. Let's line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's add the fold inside the ear. Starting at the top of the cheek, we're going to start with a curve going up and then out on both sides. Now let's go back to the inside, we're going to curl this around, going out and just hooking that back in. 
Now we're gonna move down and draw on the sides of the body. Starting on the left side, underneath the head, I'm gonna curve out, and then down towards the hip, go over towards the right, go out, and then bend that down towards the same height. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, curve down the middle, and then up on the right. Let's move back up and draw on the collar. Starting in the middle, start with a point. From here we're gonna curve out and up underneath the head on the left. Go back to the center, curve out and up on the right. Now we just wanna trace this out on the inside. Let's add that number one in the center of the jersey. Starting just underneath the collar, start with a short line going across. Now on the left side, I'm gonna curve down and then out. And we'll just taper that back in. And then from the bottom, we draw a straight line coming down about halfway down the one, add a small half circle, and come all the way down towards the bottom. Let's go up to the top on the right, draw a straight line coming down, draw a small half circle going the opposite direction, come down towards the bottom, and we'll close this off with a straight line. I'm also going to add that Nike swish on the left side. So I have the top, and come down and bend that up. Go back to the inside, just taper this around and then up towards the top. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down for the lower torso, leaving a gap in the center. Go to the left side, go out and then bend this down towards the left heel, go up and over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, I'm going to come down and then bend that up towards the toe and do the same thing on the right. I'm going to go back to the left and draw on the top of the foot. From the toe, I'm going to go up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. And then we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the toe, we'll go up and then bend that down. And then we'll curl that back up towards the inside. Let's move back up and draw the outside of the shorts. Starting from the left hip, we curve out and down, aiming towards the toe. We're going to stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Going out, and then down, and then we'll round out the bottom of the shorts. Starting on the left, come down, and bend that up. Let's go to the bottom corner of the shorts on the left. Step in, go straight down, and then bend that in on top of the foot. And the same thing on the right. Let's add some detail to the shoes. We're going to start by adding a thick sole along the bottom. We're going to take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel. And then we'll add a toe cap, starting from the left side, curve in, and then down towards the sole. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to step up, starting from the outside of the leg, come down, and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add a stripe to the side of the shorts. Starting from the left hip, we're going to step in, we're going to follow that same curve of the leg coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now we're going to go back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left holding the basketball. So we're going to start at the top of the body, we're going to go out, and then bend this down towards the elbow. And then from here, we're gonna curve out and then up towards the wrist. Let's add in the thumb. Starting from the wrist, we're gonna go up and out. We'll round up the thumb and then pull that back in. And we'll draw in the palm, going out and then hooking that back in. And then we'll draw the basketball in behind the thumb. So we start at the top of the thumb, we'll draw a circle, going around towards the outside down towards the bottom and just pull that in behind the palm. Let's draw on the bottom of the arm. Starting at the bottom of the basketball, I'm going to draw the palm coming down and then hooking that in. Now I'm going to step back, curve down, round up the arm and then pull that up underneath the body. I'm going to go back up and add the lines of the basketball. Starting at the very top, I'm going to draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom and then we'll go across. Starting from the left, go across towards the right. Let's add those curves on the left and right side. Starting from the left, curve in, bend that back out, line this up on the right, 
going in and back out in behind the thumb. Now we're going to move over and draw on the right arm. We're going to line up the inside of the arm, curve out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb. And at the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Now we're going to layer three fingers along the bottom. Starting at the bottom of the thumb, we're going to come down and bend this up around that bracket. Step down, go out, and then up. And then stepping down again, we're going to round up the third finger, go up, and then pull that in towards the top of the body on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's Zion Williamson, the New Orleans Pelicans. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.